Yeah. Greetings, family. This is Bomani Time Out, and we're live on Revolutionary Cam. I'm here with my good brother, business associate, and good friend, and literally this uh, one of our foundation of people looking to just take business to another level in Ghana as far as connecting with the diaspora. So this is our good brother Duncan and he can reintroduce himself to you as we're here just enjoying some uh, lunch. Yes my brother, greetings. Hey, yeah. Greetings, yeah, this is Duncan, you know, life and you know, back to the motherland, you know. Our brother here is here, 20, 22 May, you know, 24th back in the motherland. You know, we just here to have some dinner, socialize, talk about some business. You know, anybody wanna invest. You have so many investments here you can you know you can just you know pack in and uh, do whatever. We have lands, we selling, you know, anything you want. So we just here you know to share with you, you know, we black people go after the one and try and unite. You know and do things right so that we all become one absolutely brother yeah. duncan appreciate your energy man and as we're you know so, we've been talking over the years you know, we, you know we're trying to get our people more focused on how we put, can put our money together and be completely just independent and billing for the future and things like that and you're you're a person with great investment and business ideas so i'm telling people family right here while we're in ghana that's what we've been doing. We've been just putting together the ideas of how we can do business. So, uh, brother, specifically, name some good industries that some of the diasporans can come here. Some of our own brothers and sisters from the African diaspora who are looking to return, looking to live, do business in Africa. What are some of those businesses that they can start that will work efficiently and it's not taken away from Ghana, uh, but more so, you know, as a part of the growth of the future of the country? I can say right now, you know, sometimes there are so many uh, companies here or more investment that you can invest. But the problem is sometimes you have to know what you're doing, you know, like what you carry, what you can able to do. You can set up your own corporation and start doing your own business to educate our people because we are looking for people who have skills, who have uh, big, uh, big ideas, who can help our children, you know, people who have the technology to come and build here. You know, we are not looking at anything we are going to do. Maybe to develop the country, you know. Our country is ready to welcome you guys. You know, there are good people on the ground that are going to help you to get this done right because everywhere there's so much issues and all that. But my brother is getting the good people on board so that we can work a team and run their own corporation, you know. That is what we are working for. So, my brother here is trying to, you know, move Africa, you know. Let's the black people, let's unite, you know, and get things done for ourselves. Let's do something for our children, you know. Our born children now are coming these days, you know. We need to go. Indians are doing well here. Lebanese are doing well. We can also do it as a black people. So let's all come together and build the community. Thank you. Yes, family. And that's what I'm talking about, Duncan. We have to do this together. We have to be strategic because all those groups that you mentioned, they're putting their money together and they're doing economic domination. So you as a Ghanaian man can't go to Lebanon and build no black empire. You can't go to China. India do all that stuff, but they can come to Ghana and do that. That makes no sense, but that's a struggle that we're in as a people. Yeah. Because it's a global situation. So, you know, we have to just you know, keep putting our energy together and keep organizing uh, strategies on how we can do business. And one of the things that we have to tap into is the industries, you know? And uh, the way we do that is by putting our money together. I mean, everywhere we want to tap into, because, you know, most of these people you talk about, Lebanon, is that a, that's a country, right? Yeah, that's a country. And Lebanese are the people. Yeah. So the Lebanese people that come all over the place, West Africa mainly, and dominate in business and investment, they're backed by Lebanon. Yeah. The same thing as the Chinese the from Chinese. China. They're backed by China. Yeah. And the same thing with you know Indians from India. Indians, yeah. And those are three of the more dominant groups in West Africa family. And that's the situation we're dealing with. So when we talk about you know, 
what's the solution? The solution is one thing, black cooperative economics. Amos Wilson talked about it, blueprint for black power. So family, you can start out with this uh, connection by just taking a beautiful journey to Africa and just opening your eyes and then connecting with your own people. And, and there you go, and that, that is a good start. And if you have different skills, especially in some of the big industries and things like that, then you know we can put our energy together and compete. So fam, we have a whole lot more to share with you and everything. And Duncan's our good brother here. And Duncan, you gotta explain to people how you make your business go and what kind of business you work and operate. Okay, for me now, I'm an entrepreneur. I run the, how do you call it, laundry business. You know, what I normally do, <coughs> I wash for people. You know, the reason why I'm saying that a lot of like, you know, youth here are some are very lazy so I just wash go around the house pick up laundry clothes just clean it up you know I have a prices I built an office I have like almost like a four workers I'm paying their own on salary rate and all that so anything you want to do you can invest in anything any business you feel like you want to do in the country you just have to follow the correct procedure and let the correct people guide you, you know, to get all your everything done straight. You are good to go. Oh, yes, Ghana, I mean. Ghana is ready, you know, to welcome you guys. There are good people out there who can help you a lot. You know, like the way we volunteer, we are helping our brother to get things done right here. That is the only thing we are building. We are building, you know, we are building trust within ourselves. So that is the way we can able to unite. Because if you build up a community, you are helping African children and all that. So let's all come together and, and move the nation forward. You know, Africa is your home. You can't be there forever. This is your motherland. This is where all you guys came from. So you have to remember where you are coming from. Don't let the white fools deceive you, you know. We need you back. We need you guys back. You know, thank you. Yes, family. That's our good brother Duncan as we're here in Ghana getting prepared for our May 2022 journey of a lifetime. And family, I've seen a lot of things going on in Ghana. I've seen a lot of growth. And the situation in this family, you have to just be a visionary because if you're gonna wait around, other people are gonna come up with their money and they're gonna invest and they're gonna take over the different countries. And that's honestly what I've seen in West Africa since traveling to West Africa since 2004 as a student, a uh, researcher, uh, studying countries like you know, uh, Senegal and Egypt and family. It's, this is um, our main local food, Banku, you know, you can see it, so delicious. All right. Explain uh, yeah. explain about Banku as we're talking is, about food is, right now. Is, there you go. This is our main local food, Ghanaian love. It's called Banku, made by cassava and corn dough, made by corn. And with some great tilapia, with chili sauce, pepper. We call it uh, pepper, but you guys call it chili sauce. With some onion, you know, it tastes good. Anytime anybody come to Ghana, have to try this, you know. This is good. <clears throat> Woo! <clears throat> I got the green sauce. This is some business. <clears throat> but yes, family, you now we're enjoying some local eats and everything and socializing. We'll keep you posted with more information, more business details, and more connections. And we look forward to showing you the our Black Star Pan African community, which we're going to be visiting May 29th. Alright, family, the journey continues. <clears throat>